Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with another Bug Snacks guide, and this time we are playing through the full free DLC, The Isle of Big Snacks. Now this is basically going to take around an hour to do, and it's needed for the deep impact achievement slash trophy anyway. So, let's make like an egg and start cracking. Now at some point during the story, I got through most of the story, started cracking over the side quest, basically Snorp is going to appear out of nowhere and ask um, for some help. So eventually, if you just want to carry on with it straight away, or you want to wait until you've done all the side quests or whatever, it's completely up to you. But when Snoopy asks for us, we're going to go to Simmering Sands, the beach. We're going to speak to Snoopy and Chandlo. And then when you speak to them, he's going to ask us to um, ask a couple of other people to come along as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to summarize, see Snoopy, he says help. We go to Simmering Springs on the beach. They say... Yo, let's go over here, bro. And then we'll go, bro, but bro, but bro, bro, bro. And they'll say, bro, go get some bros. So let's go get some bros. So you can flub off, fill bowhead. We're going to ask Triffany, um, as you can see there, because in the top left hand corner, as we know, we will be seeing what we need to be asking. So Triffany, Floofty, which is, of course, no, that's Befica. Um, <clears throat> Floofty, which, of course, is a uh, ladies' private area. <laughs> some call it in some parts of the world. Floofy, by the way, is right to the left of Triffany, by the way, if you're wondering where he is. Old French fry arm right there. And then we can ask Shelda, who is by the farms. When we turn around, uh, the farm is basically to the left. And Shelda's going to be just to the right of it, right there, being a meditating bro. So after you speak to Shelda, um, we can now start heading to the beach and get our free DLC on. Uh, so soon, we're not- What are you talking about, Snorp Dog? We got- <sighs> Alrighty, I'm- Ooh. Thanks, bro. Indeed. If it isn't, of course- uh -huh. <gasps> Be I will respect you as so- No, you th No! You bring ruin to- I'm starting to think this might- You know, six for- Which- uh... We're all go- Actually, Chandlo, uh, what? Bro, well, of course I do, but come on, Snorp Dog, it's probably fine. Yes, somebody shut it. You can go if you must, Chandlo. But, bro, we do everything to get me. Well, I I'll be on the. Yes, yes, you can both be struck by a meteor at any moment, and we stop wasting time. <clears throat> you two are like mirrors. What? <gasps> Far be it for me to give. All right, don't worry. Now I've got trap. Right. Right. Bro. <laughs> All right, Snorp Dog. We made it to Chandlo. Listen to me, Snorpy. Oh, Grump, the- No, no, I think we're just- Oh, how unfortunate. But maybe we should go back and tell him? The threshold! And if you think I'm spending another minute on that- Yeah, you're always right, Sheldon. Huh, looks like- <laughs> So when we get onto the actual island, we've got a little bit of things to do first. When we get onto the actual island, it may seem like it's pretty massive to begin with, but it's actually- It's a little midget one, it's, it's kind of a tiny one. So get out your trip shot. Of course, using the left bumper and then the right stick to move it to get your trip shot on. Try to actually put it on the fire instead of throwing it on the floor. Because that always comes in handy. Uh, <laughs> pop it on the fire. Aim, of course, with the left trigger and then right trigger to fire over to the other side. That's going to whip open a bridge for us. And if that's as easy as it was, then goddamn, Braz, we should go exploring. Well, how about you explore? Nah, let's not go exploring. I... <laughs> 
Man, even just running, even watching these bug snacks run, I'm uh, pff, I'm tired. I'm a lazy man. Right, um, a few. We'll have a few of these puzzles as well throughout this DLC. Uh, basically, we have to use the buggy ball. So again, what we need to do is get the buggy ball out there, deploy it with the right trigger, of course, and then we can guide it with the right trigger. Uh, these puzzles in this game are easy enough. You literally just have to go. You know, either way, it's all good. Just wait until you can go up the platform, go down the platform, and well, you've done this sort of stuff before, I'm sure. Goodness! That mechanism still works after all this time? If that... Whoa! Oh, goodness! Did I can even see evidence of one is more concern. If my eyes do not deceive me, new bug snacks. There's an easy. Well, ah, uh, a wonder. Five. Oh, who? Bros. You seeing what? Excellent. What? Way ahead of you, do oh dear. You better go. Now, there are 11 new bug snacks in this area, and they're all goddamn steroid infused massive. And they look freaking tasty as balls. N not the balls are tasty, of course, but you know what I mean. Like popcorn chicken balls are tasty, but anyway. So, when Chandler gets mashed over to the rocks, we're gonna go over there, we're gonna pick up one of these vases. Um, now, you have 30 seconds until it explodes, but what we need to do, like I said, there are 11 bug snacks, they're all massive. So, you need to grab one of those vases, throw it on the. Um, I was going to say Bunda then, the Bunga, Bunga Bunga, and then of course when he's small we can just whip out a trip shot or any other particular way that we can use to catch these things, we're going to do it. Now there are 11 like I said, but we're not going to be catching all 11, we're just going to be catching, um, we're just playing through the story, so you don't have to catch all 11 or anything like that, we're just playing through the story as quick as we can to get the deep impact achievement, so bro, feed your bro his huge bunga royale man that sounds oh god i could do with a burger king right now that just sounds like an epic burger king doesn't it the bunga royale and all it costs you is about 27 pounds that's that's not bad if you know if you're willing to not have electricity gas and any other food for a month the last tell me chandler we found a job a statue eh like a uh, that sounds like whoa no, no. Ah, but shoulder. Silence! The mother guide! Okay then. Uh, uh, meanwhile, I am fascinated if I can determine. Alright, bros. I know if this island can make big. That's not what a hypoth. Oh, hush. Well then. <laughs> Welcome, baby. It's island time! Right, so. The main premise of this story is you just need to do a couple of quests for all four of these bras and then we'll basically do one big whole thing. So what we're going to do is speak to all four characters just to get their quests up and running and then we will get up and running. Speak to a strawberry, white strawberry bro. And then speak to the resident hippie, as it were. Or resident, you know, nice guy. Right, so, first thing that we're going to do then, from here we are going to um, jump down, we're going to go to the left, we're going to go ahead and grab a, another one of these vases. There will always be these vases here, so nay panic yourself about that. Uh, we're basically going to do a couple for Floofty, for the old lady private area first. So, grab one of these, head up, and press the right trigger there to stick that square in the box. And Floofty's going to be like... Hey, hey, that's pretty good. I got straws in my teeth. Eh, hey, yeah. I am since the spice. And then what we're going to do then is just head all the way back down, grab yet another shrinky malinky vase. 
I tell you what, you wouldn't want one of those um, <laughs> put in certain places on certain mails, would you? Whoops, I accidentally shrunk myself. <gasps> anyway, grab one of these vases. I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm on about, by the way. As you should all know by now. Throw it at Floofdus. And, uh, well, he's going to scream very, very manly, as it were. But that's powder cake complete anyway. So that's uh, Floofdus first um, Floofda done. Uh, but now what we're going to do is actually do uh, Triffany's side quest. Um, because we need to get another two specific um, bug snacks. So when we put the buggy ball down here, we're going to have the Cheddorb. Yes, that's supposed to be a piece of cheese, not just a <laughs> not just a genital wart. Um, but he's going to fly through and we'll go, go ahead and grab him in a minute. So grab your buggy ball back. We're going to get Millie Machi, which is this frozen... Ice cream worm looking thing right there. <clears throat> so of course we're going to go back. And we're going to head up. And up. And up. Because we are needing some fire as well. Now um, obviously the best way to do this. Through through the campfire there is another little uh, torch placed there. So fling it over there. And then with this one. Chuck your trip shot on. Throw it over straight in front of us to another one. Now, a, we'll have to do this quite a few times with a lot of um, different sort of torches. We need to light them up. So, what we can do then is just head down from here. And, basically, we're just going to the place where you just shot it. So, yeah, that's pretty much as easy as it is. But, instead of actually doing that first, for whatever particular reason, I go and shrink the Millimachi. Millimaki, whatever the hell it is. The Snow Worm. So, we, well, I mean, you could do it in any order. It's all going to go well. So, uh, obviously you can't catch him because you're going to freeze your absolute nutbags off about it. Which is, you know, it's... I mean, is that a bad thing? Uh, well, yeah, I suppose, yeah. If you're frozen in ice, you're not exactly going to wake up like Philip J. Fry from Future Armour in the year 3000. So, grab the trip shot up here, pop it down there, and there we go. So, the mini machi then should still be frozen and should still be midgety. I mean, small. Um, I did try and actually just shoot in from there. Uh, instead, what i done was... Now, again, what you're supposed to do, really, is use the trip shot, put it on fire, and put it on a place where the mini machi is, and obviously it'll go there. But another thing you can do is just set yourself on fire, run into him... And then catch him that way, which is probably the easiest way of doing things. So, that's the one. That's the first one we've got, Millie Mochi. Now we're going to catch the Cheddorb. Now, of course, the Cheddorb is the big genital wart rolling around. Now, what you do... <coughs> excuse me, as I don't have COVID, of course. <laughs> now, what you're supposed to do is shrink Cheddorb down. And then what he does is actually hide in a nearby log. Now, this nearby log here is not a good suitable place because there is a spider at top. So everything you put down, like a snack trap and stuff, he will just um, he'll just put it up. He'll take it from you, and it's just an old bit of a pain in the old butt snatch. So, grab an vase, and then I said there was a little bit of an edit. Now, what I would do is wait right here, just for the bunga bunga to go past, and Cheddar's eventually going to show his butt. There he is, he's coming. So I would definitely stay right here because there is a log right where Barbecue Bunga Bag is. And which he's going to hide into. So, slam dash up the gash. There he goes. So he's going for a hide. Now there's no way you can actually get ahead of him and then use the snack trap. Because he just avoids you, just like the others. So, wait for what's it legs to bagger off right there. Or Cheeto legs. Put the snack trap down. Use the buggy ball. Put him into the log. Get him out, quickly go to your snack trap, activate that, and that is the Cheddar done. So, that will be Floofty's second quest done. So, just nip up to the old Floof bag, and remember you need to turn Floofty's hand into Cheddar and Floofty's leg into Millimachi. Cheddar. <clears throat> Intriguing. Millie Mo Yum Yum Yum. Unbelievable. Ah, unfortunately, in their shrunken state, I am still forming my It will be simple. Now, I've observed regrettably, I must not.
And now we need to put a Chocoland in Floofty's pig trough. But, um, unfortunately, we've got a couple of things to do. So what we're going to do is crack on with Triffany's uh, side quest. Um, we can't actually find a Chocoland, which sounds goddamn delicious. Sounds expensive, but delicious. Um, until we open this door coming up ahead. So where the Cheddar was rolling around, straight in front of us there is the door with Triffany. So, uh, get the trip shot, sorry, pop it on the fire, turn it around, and we can... Right, excuse me, Mr. Wart. Get out of the way, man. There we go. So, we've got a couple of fires, which, of course, it's always worth keeping these things going, because, uh, well, you know, <laughs> a lot of doors require torches to be lit for some reason, etc. and more. So, here is another one of those puzzles, but this time there's a little bug in there. Now, if you get caught out by the bug, as I will show you here... He is going to grab you and fling you straight out. So again, a little bit of timing's uh, needed just to nip past the bug, but it's very easy. Just wait until he starts darting off to the right, and then we can go um, to the right and enjoy ourselves. As it were, the proverbial enjoying ourselves. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Now, when you open up this door, the Chocoland should appear here. Uh, now, what you're supposed to do is shrink the chocolate down and wait for the Ched Orb to run him over, basically, in order to catch him. But, since he's not appearing for me, there is another, another way you can get him, and we, I will show you a little bit later on. But for now, we are going to scan all the things in the underground chamber, um, just everything that's sort of basically in our view. Pilo Bite looks freaking delicious, by the way. Uh, so everything that's sort of sparkling... There should be one more, I think, to the left, or to the behind us now. There it is, pile of rocks right over there. So, go ahead, speak to Triff Dog again. Judging by what we've seen, gosh, this shit, hmm, but I don't, but uh, it's packed. Oh, I'll meet you by the... <laughs> Oh, so it's a it's a big piece of celery, apparently. Um, yeah, so we'll be catching a spider, Tikada Masala, which is just a hilarious name for it, and a big giant piece of celery. Okay, that is kid's nightmare fuel right there. Anyway, grab out your snap gra snack grappler, get rid of the rocks. We're going to open up. There is a cloberoni, who is basically a piece of pasta shell. Now basically this just reminds me of the new Pokemon games where they cannot, you know, this is just extra Pokemon that they didn't know just like, I don't know, let's just let's just put a bin bag and call it Trebbish. Like, come on, how is that a bloody Pokemon? Anyway, enough about Pokemon names. What we're going to do, we have to do a bit of a race against this mini Mochi right here. So you need to get your trip shot out. After speaking to Triffany, get your trip shot out. You have to put it over to the torch on the other side, but wait until the Mini Mochi is coming more towards you. Now you have to make a break for it. And get into the temple doors before the Mini Mochi gets rid of the fire. So, if it gets rid of the fire, the doors close and you just have to go again. Wow, spanks very much, Triffany. I do have fancy footwork. That's what they call me. Mr. Fancy. Mr. Footwork. Mr. Smallbouth. Anyway, that's for another story. So, this is a giant puzzle, and it does look complicated and confusing, but it's actually not too bad. All we have to do there is start from the bottom left-hand corner, and you can't really get lost. You can't really go wrong. All you're doing is following the platforms up and over to the other side, pretty much. There's really not a lot to go wrong with here. And if you do, then, um, well, I guess I'll send you some money. Don't, don't quote me on that, though. Oh, my God. 
We get there eventually. <laughs> eventually, eventually. Right, so this is the last bit. This is going to complete the past tense part four. And now all we have to do is um, take a break home, take a little nap. That is my that's my perfect bit of adventure in that one. Ah, oh, just go wait in camp, take a take a little nap. <laughs> okay, I can adventure. I can adventure that way. So smash through the dialogue as we've been doing for the entirety so far. And we just need to wait a day for Trifty to finish. So that's what we're going to do. Head back to camp. Now, there's always, basically, wherever we go, there's like a big crater right in the middle of the map. So when we go down there, as I'll be able to show you now, so try not to get your butt frozen right there. So we can head straight down. Instead of going down to the left and all the way around, if we turn around, like now, turn around, douchebag! Okay. All right. So I didn't turn around there, but from here... What we can do is turn around and you will see a big crater. Um, I don't know where I'm bloody going, sorry. Right, here we are. So, there's the big crater just to the right of us right there. <laughs> that is where the crater is. So, whenever you're up high up on top of the cliffs or the mountains, you can just jump straight down. Go through the big egg crater and you will always end up... If you go straight from there, you can end up here. If you go to the right, you're going to... Well, you'll see, you'll see. That's why I, what that's what I meant by the bit the, the map seems big, but it's actually not that too bad at all. So anyway, go take a snooze, go and enjoy yourself. And when we are awake, it's beautiful. So what we can do now is just head all the way back to Triffany. Of course, remember we need to go through this big bloody door right here, uh, come, just coming up past the Ched Orb, up the mountain, and past the Millimachi. You, you should know where to go, it's an easy one to remember this, but head back to Trifony, get past the pilot bite, try not to take a bite out of it, it's... Mm, man, I'm starved. Not going to no one. Oh, I'm sure. You know, to be honest, look. But at least we gave it a. Well, goddamn, she sucked. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, right, but we are going to be coming back here a little bit later on. But that is Triffany done. Now we've just got Floofty, Chandlow, and Shelder to go. So, what we are going to be doing first then, is we are going to eventually grab a chocolate. This is where the big egg crater is, which will come in... I mean, this will basically basically be one of Shelder's missions a little bit later on. That's a Takeda Masala just up there. I really want a pie, and I really want a Tikka Masala as we get run over by the Gen Jenny Ward of Life. Nice. Right, Clobberoni, again, like I said, most of these we're going to be catching. Not all of them, though. So if you want to, if you want a guide on how to catch all of them, um, there's a couple on YouTube and a couple on, if you uh, Google search it as well, if you want to do that. Um, but again, this is just a primarily, this is just a primary, primarily a playthrough, just to get the dip impact achievement. So, we're going to he go, go ahead and grab the vase right there. So again, went a bit back on myself there, apologies about that, but what we're actually doing is going to be bombing the celery stick. We're going to be catching the celery. Now, the reason we're going straight for the celery is because he has a bunch of chocolates on them, which we need for Floofty's trough. So if the chocolate doesn't appear at the bottom when it's supposed to, um, just, <laughs> just knocked you out, boy. Just get rid of this celery and four will appear. Uh, so we might as well grab this celery stick because he is needed for Chandlow's, one of Chandlow's missions a little bit later on. So um, shrink him down, get your trip shot out. A piece of celery, which, I mean, Chandlow, bro, that's a piece of celery is not going to make you big. You might as well just stick to McDonald's every day. Have heart failure, but be massive at the same time. So... There we go. So that's a celery stick. We'll uh, come back to him a little bit later on. Now we just need to grab one of these choco lands. So we will be doing the same thing. Obviously, we need to shrink him down, but he looks goddamn delicious. I feel like Homer Simpson right now. The land of chocolate. Wow, chocolate half price, etc., etc. For those who know, well, you know the Simpsons. So go back down, ignore the deliciousness that is this pear, grab another one of those vases, head back up and stick it straight on Chocolant's noggin. And it goes bow, 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 bow. So he's going to hide just like the Ched Orb a little bit earlier on. He is going to go for a little hide. So we know the drill. Get your snack trap out. Put it either side. Makes nay difference. Um, again, make sure that there is no spiders in the trees as well because that gets really annoying. So use the snack trap on the way that they are facing, actually. Sorry. Then use the buggy ball. And again, guide him in. Quickly snick, uh, snap to your snack trap. And then catch him right there. Quickly switch to your snack trap is what it meant to say. Not quickly snap to your snack trap. But you got what I mean. So that gives us the chocolate. Now we can head all the way back to camp. And stick it up the floof there. I mean, in floofty's trough. You, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. At last, available. This requires my. And luckily, it's a nice, easy one for us to do now. So take a little nap, and then go and spot, go and speak to the Floofdinator in a little bit, like right now. <laughs> Blast it all! I do not need. I've obtained dry. Perhaps if I had, you cannot. Afraid? Yes. One senses cease your hostilities, Shelder. I've been informed. <gasps> Straight, but sure. I do one would. Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it and be quick about it, please. No, mm, if that is waft. I. <laughs> and among the oil of vitriol, a common but floofy. Did you? Well, this is and your. 
so that is floof bags all done. Now we've just got Chandlo and Schnelder to go. So, as you can see there, it says we've uh, obstacles destroyed the obstacle in the river. If you've been following the guide, you will get that one automatically anyway. So, now what we can do is just follow Shelda and go to the Nature Shrine. A hippie's paradise. With a burger on his head. Mmm. Oh, the front end, but I believe... So, as is always the case, we've got to do quests for these lazy, boneless people. So, jump down. Um, again, if you can, <clears throat> try and actually hit the target, which will always be nice. So, get get your jump on, and you should be able to make that with no problems. There we go. Right, so, what we need to do now is do a bit of quick-fire trip shotting. So, stick your trip shot in the fire, bung it over to the torch on the left, that is going to open up the... It's not a bridge, it's more like a stair gate, just in case you keep falling. So now put it back on the fire, and put it over to the two torches over the other side, that is obviously going to open the door. Man, wouldn't it have just been easier to bring a lighter with you? Or a bunch of matches? Anyway, you were probably done for arson or something. So, what we need to do now, we have to go back into the... To get over to the other side, jump onto the middle sort of platform thing right there. That's not exactly how to do it. But jump onto this middle platform. Now, um, the Clobsteroni doesn't go over to the other side. So, you're going to have to whip out the hot sauce Bombay bad boy pot noodle. And keep slinging it until we get, um, just until we get to around here, right in the middle, so that we can jump on, jump onto the other side. But doing, you made my pee pee go. But noing, noing, noing. The way you move it, I ain't never seen a get a snack grappler out. Get out the rocks. Sorry, I was just uh, seeing some old style Eminem right there. And have a chat with the old hippie strawberry nose. The story. I grew up hearing stories about the dead. Not that many did. It wasn't really a come with me to the crater. There's something else I want to see. <laughs> so again, man, follow the man. Follow the man now as he goes down here into the egg crater. So, what we have to do now is actually find three eggs. Which, the first one is obviously very easy enough. It's just to the right of us. Yes. So the story goes. And so Mother Nature unleash. Looks a lot like... But that story, she's not the... If I can, I need to... You see that egg, Lachette? And the way you crack open the egg, like an omelette, use your snack grappler there. And just, um... You can eat, you can push it, but obviously it's a lot easier to just move away a little bit. Grab the grab the egg job done. So go into this egg cup, chuck the egg in, that's gonna smash that one open. That's gonna get a chicken tikka masala. Or tikada masala, sorry, going. Now we have to go and find the other two. Now the second one is high up in the trees, just to the opposite side. You can probably just see where the spag hider has it, just up um, basically opposite of where we're standing. So we need to go all the way back up to, well, you know, where the Minimachi Shrine, where Triffany's place was a bit earlier on. So just head through this cave, through past the Pylobite, and head up. So what we have to do then, when you grapple him down, we need to move it as quick as we can. So... As you can see, the spider's trying to get that schnit, so just keep moving back. If he does grab it, that's fine. We can just grab it again and just keep either trying to... Oi! Son of a Give me my goddamn egg back! That's my kid's only food for the month, that is, since electricity and gas bills have gone up, since the uh, Tories in the UK like to bend the British people over, and that's for another story. Anyway, so gra um, grab it back as far as you can. Be careful not to fall, which is why there was an edit. I did have a little fall. Push that down, grab it in the egg cup, and get yourself a nice soft boiled egg. And hopefully you can stick Boris Johnson's fat, blonde, dumbass head in there. Sorry, sorry, getting ahead of myself again, Soz. 
I wonder how many people are going to be angry because I don't like the Tories. Right, so that's the second egg anyway. And the third one is behind a puzzle door. So if we turn around, you can see where Shelter is right there. We're going to go past Big Shelter Dog. And it's basically on this side. We just have to do one of those puzzles with the buggy ball again to find the third and final egg. So we can just keep going up here, climb up the old flat-capped mushrooms. There's a Bungo Royale right there. <laughs> wow, he's gone up in price. And, again, I got lucky with that one, to be honest. It wasn't first time. I actually failed three times. So, um, <laughs> don't worry if you do fail. You've just got to bounce on the club's only over to the other side. And then just do this small puzzle again. Now, there is one of those bugs, but this time he will not... Um, as I'm going the completely wrong way. He won't throw you out. You actually need to get caught by this bug in order for him to put you up to the top. So don't try and avoid him. He is going to help us this time, this little choco lant. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Ah, cheers, miss. Cheers a bunch. Right. Now, all we have to do is get the egg over. So, snack grapple him. <laughs> Where there's a whale, there's a way. Oh. Ah. Okay, I kind of got lucky with that one. But there is a little ramp there if you need to um, get the egg up. So, don't worry. Now all you got to do is obviously just push him straight from here, over to the other side, into the egg crater, get the egg smashed, get yourself a third boiled egg, yum 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 yum. Now there was, as you could probably see, just above, oh well, it, it's in that area, but there is, just in front of us, now it's to the right, whatever, there is a pile of rocks that we can snack grapple off, which we need, we have to do in order to get the tikka dala, tikka da masala a little bit later on, so... Before jumping down there, I would have suggested just grabbing those rocks off. But I will show you anyway. We'll come back to that bit a little, little bit later on. Um, obviously, it just makes it easier to shrink one of these fiery boys down. Anyway, once we are done here, speak to Shelda to end this quest. I know. Ah, bugs next. They're also the only... Ah, I'm going to need... <laughs> So then, from where we just were speaking to Shelda, what we're going to do is basically go back to the same place that we were. We're going to open up that wall and open up the door which has one of those blue shrinky vases in it. So, up onto the old flat cap and hagen mushrooms. There it is, just past the hot sauce flowers or the cheese flowers, whatever they are. Make sure to snack, grapple and pop that one open. Now what we need to do, like I said, is open up the door as well. As you can see, it's locked, and the only way it unlocks is if we set fire to the torch right next to it. So give yourself a bunga bunga. And now what we are going to do is actually head... Uh, we need to head straight in front of us, right there. So wait until the club Steroni is in perfect view. Give yourself a bash over, and ba doink doink. There we go. Whap your trip shopped out. Skablam, and then... Use it on the torch. I don't know if you'll be able to... I don't think you can reach that one. No, we have to put it over to the one on the right first. And then we can go to that one and put it over. Door opens. Let's catch some chicken tikka. Da. But there is no point grabbing it yet. So what we have to do, we, we have to do this in kind of a weird, sneaky way. We have to get the Tikka Mada Sala, bloody, whatever the bloody hell thing it's called. I'm going to get him over to the Mini Machi right here. So whip out your Chocolate Boy hot sauce, or your regular hot sauce. And eventually he will start coming. He will start coming fire. Oh, I bet that burns. I want to see a doctor about that. Anyway, let's get him up here. And then what we need to do, as soon as we can, ignore the old pasta clubs the roni. Now we need to put some hot sauce onto the mini machi thing. There we go. Get him all nice and soaked in hot sauce. 
Oh, he's boiling pasta first. Lovely. Right. Straight away, we're going to go to the left. We're going to grab one of those vases. Bam. Obviously, we've got 30 seconds. Usually plenty of time. And then what should be happening now is our our friend Tikka Matada there, Masala, is going to keep getting frozen. So you just need to keep trying to shrink him. Eventually, he will unfreeze himself. But because the hot sauce is still on the mini machi thing... He will try and keep eating it, so he's not exactly just going to fly away. So, quick as he can, sling him down, and then we can just grab him straight away. So, that is how you catch the Tikada Masala. And from here, we can now just head all the way back to the camp, offer him that chicken tikka for £20. You know, inflation is... Um, it's making us all poorer these days, isn't it, inflation? And chicken tikka ma chicken tikka masala is costing me 20 quid. I am not happy. Thank you. I may unfortunately. <gasps> yes, but no. Oh. Ah, shoulder. Use if you're here to temper you. Oh, the path. How oh, you are. <laughs> if I can, I'm not. However, I can show. Ah, but if I know you, I'm here to learn. Ha ah, step one of step. Thank you for. Now you better leave. So we've only got the bro left, to bro. I mean, bro left to go. And that is Chandlo. Now, of course, we've already spoken to him earlier. If you haven't got his quest going, make sure to speak to him. And then we can catch one Clobsteroni, which, of course, is Pastoroni. So, obviously, you always, I always, every flower I go past, just make sure to keep your stash, top, um, your stash topped up. Now, we don't need this Clobsteroni as a ramp anymore, even though if you just sleep till the next day, he will appear back again anyway. So, it doesn't make too much of a difference. So, grab yourself a vase. Slap it on the boy. <laughs> you know what? Pasta being that big basically reminds us of how everyone cooks pasta. You always cook way too much and there's about a billion left over. In fact, there'll be a lot of um, <laughs> a lot of starving kids in the world that will enjoy the pasta that everyone makes. Um, but sometimes this works a treat. Other times it may not. Oh, there we go. Right, so we're good. Right, <laughs> so as soon as you can wick him up, or whack him off, get your snack trap out. Catch the clubs to Roni, go back to Chandlo and feed him the old big pasta boy. While all the starving kids in the world cry because you've just fit you're about to feed a big weird toothy animal thing all the pasta which was left over. You naughty bastard. Clubs? No. Yeah. Oh yeah! What? I didn't... You know what, bro? I guess that means my invest... Relax, huh? I've been so busy... What the grump? Oh! <laughs> you know another, another nice Rancho Relaxo one coming up now. So, doesn't matter if you win or lose, we're just gonna shoot some hoops and some poops with Chandlo. So, uh, you know what to do. Make sure the line is going into the basket. Press the right trigger to throw it. Job done. The first to get the five wins. So, um, sit back, relax. Become Will Smith. You know, before when he was cooler instead of slapping people for making fun of his bald wife. I'm not saying much. I'm bolder than the sun. So, you know. I missed! Three points, dog! My turn! Two points for me! She got four points! My turn! <laughs> Grump! I missed! Whoa! Five points! You won, dog! Thanks for playing with me, bro! Now that we're done ha- Sure about how about this? You get me too. So after all that losing, because you're a loser, loser. 
Now remember we caught the Selly Sticks from earlier on, didn't we? To get the Choco Lamp. So, that should be one out of two done already. So we can just go ahead, feed old Strawberry Head the Selly Sticks. Again, that doesn't... A huge piece of celery nose does not make you massive. Sorry, mate. That uh, trend on other... <laughs> another steroids will do that for you. Um, eating big, alive snacks. Basically KFC and everything. By the way, vegans are already having an absolute heart attack and stroke at the thought of this game. Eating live animals? How could ye? Anyway, now we need to go and get, finally get this pilo bite. This would make you massive. And the way you have to get this pilo bite is you have to snack grapple all of the little stickers or whatever it is that is on the side of him. The little locks, whatever you want to call them. He's obviously going to sprint away because, you know, bro's just chilling, man. He doesn't want to be eaten. Uh, but it's tough titties, man. So he's actually not sure if this is going to happen every time. But for me, he ended up coming up here with the choco lance and celery sticks. And made it just a little bit more of a pain in the butt. And I will tell you why now. So when you get the lid off, we actually have to go and get one of those blue vases. Shrink him down and trip shot him. But again, it's not as easy as that. Because you've got the choco lance, you've got the spider up in the tree and the celery stick. Um, having a little walk around, but I will tell you exactly where to go and how we are going to do it the best place to put it So go and grab the vase anyway, and then shrink the pie down Run forest run well, I never see no shit like walk around like run like that before Run run as fast as you can you can't catch me I'm the pilo bite man. Right, shrink this boy down. Now, go over to the left right here, next to this log. That is where we are going to be using this trip shot. Um, now, if you could be less moronic than I was right there, <laughs> you will get this done a little bit quicker. Uh, but what we have to wait until the celery stick comes around. Obviously, always take a picture again of the pilo bite so you know the exact path that he's taken. But just wait until the celery stick sort of um, pops. There he goes. So, thank you for breaking that, you douchebag. That's why nobody likes celery, see? Anyway, now we can put the tra trip shot from this log just over to the concrete just there. That will get the pilobite gone, dead, and now we can head all the way back to Chand Bro. Feed him the bros, and then we can bro on, bro on. I'm worried. <sighs> That's... I thought... But it's only got... I've known Snorpy all my life. But, uh... One must... In... That boy. Well, yeah. I make sure he's safe. Chandler. But you cannot... Snorpy is locked. That's... Oh. Uh, thank me when you ask... Hey, bro. Well, I'm... Right, speak to Triffany and the Flutinator. They're gonna both speak to Chanlo, and that is basically gonna be the end of that. And we have we've done with this now. So we've got roughly about ten minutes or so left. We just have to fight the final big boss, which again is very easy, and life will be good. Is the important word here? Look, there are no. Those are real. We got them from. Oh, Chanlo. Let it point is, Snorpy might be a. Yeah, I guess. No problem. Oh, I suppose it. Are we here to speak ill of my? No, no, that's not why I asked you. He wasn't like this. Snorpington. What happened? But and Snorpy doesn't really like. Oh, I'm. However, I will gladly take. We were working to. But our dear. Despite my product. Well, yeah, I don't. In my other worlds, if it must be easy to. Yeah. <sighs> and after that. So. <laughs> still. Don't mistake. All right, Fl mm, Happy to have enlightened. No, not this time. We're. Perhaps. But for now. 
My work beckons. Bro, I've Snorpy never would have come to s all I do now. Sheld is right. I'm gonna stay here. Nice. This might be a fantastic. Thanks for meeting everybody. It's indeed. Oh, uh, not physic. Sorry, I could do not apologize. <laughs> and with some yet tough remind grump, yeah. Uh, the tooth re that is. But first, after some exp something about the sn there is no using my I would. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was Ha! Oh, you missed it, Triff Dog! Floofty and Shelda teamed up to brain They Shocking, I know. Yes, the path Oh Unfortunately I believe we m Oh yeah! Floofty asked me to build Don't a ruin the surprise. Trust a more ominous sin Well Well, there it is. God damn, they talk a lot in this game, don't they? <laughs> in this bit of DLC. That's a lot of talking. Well, it makes me talk less, so I think everyone's happy with that. Right, get your buggy ball, stick it over to the four guys, and now we're just going to turn around and wait for a surprise, would we? <laughs> hey, baby, come back. You didn't show me your surprise. If anyone knows that voice and that future armor reference, I will give you more monies. Ow! What the grump is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And... Whoa! Don't let go! Oh no you don't! Gotcha! <sighs> you may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved Big Buggy Ball! I wanted to call it the Engorged Strabiform or Bacula Encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Oh, we finally got our way in! Power? Problem solved. Oh, you send to your... Oh my gosh, he's huge now! That is a big old strawberry. That could feed me for an hour. At least an hour. Right, so this is the room with the final boss in. It's He's got a couple of faces, etc. But again, he can't die, so it's not that hard. So we just need to scan everything that's um, sort of lighting up. Sort of with the um, bits floating all around it right there. And then a bit more dialogue is going to happen. And then we can get into the nitty gritty good stuff. That's an understatement. Well, hmm. I found this machine thing buried. Indeed. Yet large enough to launch, I believe, an ex. <laughs> Whoa! Sprout got luck. Hmm. Seems to be a tr uh oh. No, that can't be a good sign. What did you all do? The disturbance is ready yourself, Rose. Here he is then, he is the Christmas cheese and cracker board. So, our giant Strabby is going to get flown up in the air, it's going to be a couple of cheese balls. So, you need to, there will be two of these um, little sling launcher things right here. You need to get rid of the rock and then what you need to do, as you can see, he's going to throw a piece of cheese at you and then you can um, smash, snackle, grab, grab, snackle the way out of it. 
So already that sort of happened a lot quicker than I thought there. So every time he picks up one of these cheese balls, get to where you need to go, which is right here. He's going to throw it at you. Snack grapple that. And that will be the first phase done. So he's going to be angry now. And instead of just trying to kill you, he's going to kill them instead. So what you have to do with this one, we need to get one of those vases. Uh, there's, again, two of these big rocky piles. So get one of those vases. Throw it at one of the... Get, but will you stop throwing rocks at me? It's very inconveniencing to me. Throw it at one of the old cheese boys. Hey! You come back here and you go small. Act like it's cold. Go small, balls. Not having a good time with this one right now. If you can obviously do it again a lot easier than me, then by all means, you would be a lot better gamer than I am, which you probably are. Right. Uh, yeah! Right, there's one. So when one goes small, he is going to automatically go in the big rocks. And he is going to smash the pile of rocks for us. So again, just wait behind here until we get a cheese ball thrown at us. Give it the whack of life. Bam. Again, if the smorgasbord boss here is throwing rocks, just wait until he finishes throwing rocks. And then um, use the snack grappler. Um, otherwise... Man, his eyes are funny. Are you high, Mr. Smorgasbord, Christmas cheese, cracker board? Right, throw the... Again, <laughs> again, try and do that a little better than me. But obviously we just have to do it for the other side as well. It is an incredible inconvenience right there. J just go friggin' smile! Okay, there we go, we're all good. So, that's the second pile of rocks done. So, just... Oh, man... It's kind of annoying, actually. You're sort of just waiting there, like, right, come on then. I, I know I can't die. Well, let's just crack on, let's just crack on, let's just crack on. Right. Nice. Thank you very much. Good, sir. Right. So he eventually grabs one. And it's the same tactic. Wait. Snack. Grapple that stuff. Eventually. And that should be another smash bang. Up, oh, yeah, ma'am. And then, of course, he's going to get angry again. Smash that one. Now, this third phase is a little bit different. Uh, what you have to do is actually just stand in the way here. And then as soon as he throws this cheese ball, get out the way. And what should happen is uh, he will go into the hole. And then you can snack grapple the um, basically like a little switch at the top. And that's how you do that. But of course, as you can see, I just got absolutely bummed out the way right there. Mate, you've got one in your butt. You've got a cheese. You've got a cheesy butt right there. Just... Okay, he's going to ignore that one. So as soon as he turns around, as soon as he throws him, move out of the way. Turn behind you. Snack grapple the switch at the top. Sometimes it'll work well. Other times it won't because he will start throwing rocks. So, if you want to, just um, make sure to have a look. Make sure that he stops throwing the rocks. And then actually uh, do the snack grappling. Snack grapple and popping. Because I think... Again here, I think he starts... Oh, no, not this one. I think it might be the next one. Anyway, when we've hit him with that one, we're going to go to the other side and just do the exact same tactic. So as soon as he throws, move out of the way, snack grapple, and bam! And we're almost done. Dude, this Christmas cracker cheese board is not very happy. Right, so, we're on to the final phase now. And the final phase is basically just a puzzle. So, are we going to get Giant Strabby back down? And now we can start guiding him over. Absolutely lovely. 
So, guide him over to the puzzle. Should be on the right hand side of the room. As we can get out the way, you big cheese butthead. And the entrance should be the big ramp right there. So again, it's an easy one. It's very linear. Just, just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. There we go. Right, let's catch the dude. Turn directly around. Grab your grapple out again. Throw the um, blue vase at him. He's still going to try and throw rocks at you, but that's fine. Now it's just as easy as sticking down the trip shot. Putting it anywhere between there. That'll be fine. Maybe a bit longer. Yeah. Can't go long. Can't go wrong with being longer schlonger. Grab him. That is the Cheddar Bordel Rex. Very, um, very originally named right there. But anyway, that is the end of the DLC, so just do a little bit of chatting now with Chandler and the rest of the gang. Obviously feed him the old uh, Christmas board. And that is the end of that free DLC. Oh. Yeah! I don't know if it- oh. Phew! That was the biggest snack I've ever seen! <laughs> Speak for yourself. Agreed. But you know, I mean- Well, yeah! What? Huh. If, yeah, I'm thinking much bigger. Wrath of Mother. Amusing as this Chris. Maybe it. Ah, uh, I. Unless. You know, I. All yes. right. Okay, so. Wonderful. And on the way. Nothing else to do except ride the ramp home. So you can have a look around, but there's actually nothing there. When we go home, you will unlock the achievement Deep Impact, and that is the end of that one. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of DLC. Hope the walkthrough was very helpful. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well. And I shall see... Well, thank you so again so much for everyone. If you did, if you did like it, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as usual. And I will see you in the next Bug Snacks guide. Big love. Oh. And, uh, speaking of- Oh, well, 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 that's all right. It may not be my- f Yeah. Well, you sound like- Yeah, I do. Ah, well. Thanks for everything, dog.